Hello friends, welcome back to Storytime Tuesday. May the Lord be with you and also with you. It's Mrs. Sim here. It's nice to see you again. I'm glad you were able to join me today for another story. I hope you found your cozy spot. You have your blankets, your pillows, your cozy chair, whatever it is you need to feel comfortable today while we have our time together. We're going to get ready. Remember, we're going to start by lighting the Christ candle, which we do to remind us that Christ is with us whenever we gather together in spirit. So let's light our Christ candle. I have two stories for us today, but they're both very short. I think you're really going to like them. The first one we're going to read is called All God's Colors. And then the second one we'll read is called A Church for All. So All God's Colors by Patricia Tower. Do you think God made the dark so we could see the light. Or was it so we'd always know the daytime from the night? And did he give us colors just to make the world confusing? Or did he think we'd find the colors lovely and amusing? Did he make the flowers in all colors just for fun? Or was it that he loved them all and couldn't choose just one? Did he put the stripes and spots on tigers and giraffes? Because they looked so wonderful, they made God smile and laugh. And when God made the penguins, skunks and pandas, black and white, Do you think he said out loud, one color's not quite right? Now, do you have a favorite color? One that you can name? Or do you love them as God does? All colors, just the same. So that was a nice story about all of God's colors. And now this is A Church for All by Gail Pittman. <clears throat> Sunday waking, day is breaking. Let's go to our church for all. Church bells ringing, joyful noises. Choir singing, laughing voices. Candles glowing, banners flowing. Come enter our church for all. Weak and healthy, neat and messy. Poor and wealthy, plain and dressy. All embracing, Spirit gracing each one at our church for all. Bodies wiggling, 
Mommy's reading, children giggling, and Daddy's pleading. Toddlers flailing, babies wailing. There's room at our church for all. Hands receiving, hands connecting. Hearts believing and hearts accepting. Feel the spirit. Can you hear it? It's here at our church for all. was another nice story. I wonder why God created a world full of different colors. I wonder why God created a world full of different kinds of animals. And I wonder why God created a world full of different kinds of people. Now, I think everything that God created is beautiful and unique and special in its own way. I wonder, in this book, why all these different people like to come to the church for all. I wonder, how do you think they feel when they're there? How do they feel when they're there? And I wonder if you know a place where you feel special and loved just as you are. Well, we're gonna make a project today about all the different colors and all the different parts of the world combined together because we need all of the colors and all of the people to make our world the wonderful, beautiful, special, unique place that it is. So what I need you to get today is a piece of white paper, okay, some crayons, and then if you have um, a yogurt container or an applesauce container, anything you might have where you can make a circle shape. Okay, so we're, I chose lots of different colors. So I chose some colors, like the colors of the world that God created, like a green for green grass, or blue for the blue sky, and let's see, maybe red for some flowers. But I also chose colors of people. So different shades of browns, and a black, and a melon, all different colors. There are so many colors. If you look in your crayon box, there are so many different colors that you can use. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose all of our different, we're gonna do one at a time. We're gonna turn our container upside down, put it on our paper, and we're gonna trace a circle. We're gonna trace around our container to make a circle. Okay, so here's my first circle. I made a green one. And now I'm gonna choose a different color. And I'm gonna make sure that when I put the cup down, it's partially on top of our green one. So now I'm gonna make a, what color is this? Let's see, oh, a burnt sienna circle. So now look, I put the green circle and then I put the burnt sienna circle on top of it. I'll do one more and I'm gonna choose, oh, the black crayon now. And I'm gonna make sure that it overlaps one of the other circles. And then I'm gonna draw my circle all the way around. And now my three colors are all connected. So let me show you the one I did earlier today. I'm gonna flip that over so you can see. Do you see all the different colors that I used and how all of the circles and all of the colors together 
connecting together make a beautiful piece of artwork. So lots of colors in the world. God made all the colors of the world and they're all unique and they all can combine together to make a beautiful picture. Okay. Let's get ready to end our time together. Okay. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us all. You ready? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I'm going to change our light now. Look, our light is in one place, but I'm going to change it so it's not in one place now. It can be in many places at one time. Are you ready? The light of Christ that was just in one place at one time is in all places at all time. The light can be everywhere in this room and even in other places. So we end our time together with our special blessing from the Bible. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face to you and grant you peace. Go in peace. Amen. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Have a great week.